Anthony, you really? look a bit tired to me. Well, I, I do have a cone to pick with you, I have to say. Really? Well, I mean, you, you, you're looking awful, awfully tired. I mean, you, yeah. you're, you're, tre don't, you're treading lightly. You're treading lightly oh, here on, on, on thin ice. This is terrible. This is terrible. Hello, Hello. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Paddock Show. It's Event 7. It's Event 7, but it's only Round 3. For the Hondas, For the Hondas and, and, and the road, and road taxes, taxes. Yeah. But it's the second time we've been here at Karting North East. It is, yeah. We're Warden back. Law. We, we loved it the first time we came back. Yes. Um, unfortunately, we've been in a bit of a heat wave, really. Mm and yet we have coats on. Yeah. <laughs> Could you believe that it was 40 degrees a couple Sunderland of days ago? Sunderland didn't get the memo no. about the weather. I mean, it's been, it's been a really nice day of racing. The racing yes. is, is going on. Uh, we'll introduce you, uh, introduce you to the day's proceedings. Now, we've got round three for Honda Cadet, mm -hmm. Mini Max, Junior Max and Senior Max. Yeah. The first of three... Uh, Micromax qualifiers yeah. for the Rotax Grand Final. So mm. we've got eight Micromax drivers here. One of them will win a ticket to the Rotax Grand Finals in Portimao. Yep. We've got the Rotax E20 carts here, which I believe you might even get to have a go at a uh, yeah, well, 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 the, the plan is to have a go, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the heat racing is still going on. We've had time qualifying today. Yeah, we have. Uh, with all the heat races are going to be completed today uh, for all the classes. So tomorrow, on the live coverage, we've got 12 or 14 races to bring you. Refer charges. Yeah, two in, reps. Oh, I mean, the re we've got 57 or so junior uh, uh, entries. There's going we've to be... Got, we've, got a, we've got a few. Hounge entries. Now, let's have a look at the Hunter Motorsport thing. So, Karting North East, Warden Law, owned by the Hunter family. Yeah. Uh, Kai Hunter, who is currently on track, doing quite well in senior road tax. Yeah. Reese Hunter, the Reece. elder of Reece the should be brothers. in here with his uh, uh, so hands taking dirty. Taking a back seat from driving this year. Oh, he's not in here. He's not in here, but, I mean... For a team, uh, Anthony, for a team that, oh, I know, and someone spilt their uh, uh, stuff, they won't uh, focus on that. But for a team that started from scratch this year, look at, how, look at the setup. That's, oh, that's yeah, no, really, massive, really impressive. Huge tent. This is, this is pretty I mean, impressive. I, 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 pick a couple of drivers out there. So the number 89 junior cart of uh, Gustav Usakovs uh, won one of his heat races. I think he won his second heat race of the day. Yes. Uh, you've got Stephen Duncan, uh, who's just joined the team. He's done very well in junior Rotax as well. Uh, I think he's had a couple of top 10 finishes. Angus Scrivener, uh, not so successful today. He's probably going to be in the rep uh, we're going to see tomorrow. But yeah, Gustav Usakovs, really, really come on strong, leaps and bounds. And uh, you can see there, I mean, there's no one in here, but I mean, no. <laughs> we've got <laughs> a driver running away. Now, I mean, this is this is what I think. I mean, we're not. I mean, we, we can't show it. But I mean, some of the lengths the teams go to, like that's the settings. Yeah. Uh, uh, they, they've got like wristbands on them. So that nobody like, can see the settings. You call them wristbands. I call them socks. Here is what it is. The Hunter Motorsport Micromax cart. No yes. engine on it. I think the engines are all in part Fermi. That's Dan Minto's cart. He was very quick, but had an accident in his first heat race. Yes, yeah, and I believe the strategy that they're running on this one, so they had two cuts running yesterday. They had one with the Lando Norris chassis, and they had a cut oh, Republic right. chassis, and they were okay. testing which one they prefer. Oh. Judging how Wagon is set. Well, yes. is, well Wag judging Wagon how Wagon has not hasn't. Rolling. Well, yeah, judging how they've not got There's an engine on this one. Five, five fundamental problems. Like, what can we spot? Five fundamental things that are missing from this cart. Well, engine. Yes. Uh, and then four wheels. Correct. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> so obviously, they, they, they use the car and public chassis. Yes. Now, we do have a little glimpse into mm. the future, Anthony. We do, and yeah. The electric into the karting. Is in here. Well, yes, yeah. So electric karting, obviously dominated really by Formula E, but then you've also got, in terms of karting, you've got uh, as well, you've got, uh, uh, oh, 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 top of my head, um, karting zero. Yes, karting zero. Rob Smedley's total Rob karting Smedley's, zero. Yeah. So now, Rotax have brought their E20, mm. Project E20, to the UK for the very first time. Uh, and, you know, these carts compete in the Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals. They've got a senior class and a junior class. And you, Anthony, I believe... Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully later on crossed, tonight, hopefully, I might be having a go out in this one. So, ladies and gentlemen, after Anthony does himself a mischief trying to pretend to be a racing driver, uh, answer the postcard. Would you like to co-commentate with me tomorrow while Anthony <laughs> is recovering from his injuries? Yes. Uh, that he will suffer by trying to pretend to be a racing yeah. driver. A lot of weight, though, in these to uh, stop. But you, say, you say that, but not as much weight as they used to have. I mean, they're, they're wow. developing these carts all the time. Um, they are a little bit heavier. I yes. mean, you're pushing 220 kilos with driver. I know that feeling. 
Driver is with my stature, oh, okay. not yours. I don't know that feeling. I don't know that feeling. Right, that's 300 go. kilos with you <laughs> in there. Tell you what, anyway. and, and, uh, this, is the, this is the hub of the event. Now, there's uh, people waiting to see racing at all. Let's speak to a driver, but uh, in... I tell you what, the, the driver's in here. If a driver sat in here during the course of the day... They're in trouble. It usually <laughs> means they've got an appointment with the stewards. Ethan Griffiths, do you have an appointment with the stewards? Uh, I think so. I don't know what it's for, though. Oh, well, of course, no, no driver knows what it's for. Now, as you always tell us, you are the only Welshman in Honda Cadet. How has the only Welshman got on today? Uh, first heat, qualified 23rd, because uh, I didn't get any good laps in because I lost a toe. And then uh, first heat, felt quite confident and gained 14 places to get ninth. Excellent. And then the second heat is why we're in here. So we maybe discuss what's going on there, yeah? Uh, well, the second heat we finished 16th or 17th. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Well, OK, well, we'll, we'll leave you and wait for your appointment with the, the stewards, potentially. Who knows what it's for? Well done, Ethan. Let's move on and uh, speak to a couple of drivers at... Uh, Maybe you've got less now. There's the Jack's Motorsport. Yeah. Um, we'll have a little look in they the Jack's that. Motorsport tent. Now, we've got an inter we did an interview, a feature with the uh, the Potenza Racing Engine. This is the Potenza Racing Awning, or one of the carts. Oh, Poppy the dog is, is nowhere to be seen. Neither is Lewis Gilbert, but um, he's been doing well. We're going to catch up with some of the drivers as they come back there. So, Jack's Motorsport has uh, been there. Let's have a little uh, oh, This is perfect timing to come in here, oh, actually. Look, look, We've got donuts. There we go. Wow, there we go. Oh, so, right, who, who's dri who, who does this belong I mean, to? Who's driver? Who's driver? A, Pearson. Pearson. Pearson Bullock Carter. As an athlete, right, okay. Pearson I can't Bullock indulge in anything like that. Thank right. you, Mr. Bullock Carter. Yeah, no, yeah. Thank you, Paul. I, I, I will later on, but I mean, I, I'm trying to watch my weight. I'm watching it grow and grow and grow. Me, on the other hand, I'm not. Pass me. What do you want? Well, no, we're going donut on me. Yeah, because I am one. There we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Thank you very much. No, he's not allowed to. He's watching his weight as well. No, he's taking one anyway. I'll, 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 I, I, I will, as a, as a professor, whilst you eat your donut, I will, I will do an interview with Anne Racing Driver. I have found Anne Racing Driver. I have found, I have found, you are, you're an Anne, right, right. Daniel Sabula is Anne Racing Driver. Um, Thomas Sabula is Anne Wearer of Corduroy Shorts. Daniel, Daniel Sabula. I noticed it, two top ten finishes and a fastest lap in heat number one. How was that? Yeah, very good. I mean, we've been looking for setup the entire weekend. Uh, we finally found it and we found some pace while we're doing it. Uh, yeah, let's let's hope we can co continue this momentum through uh, through to tomorrow. So this team, Jack's Motorsport, it's growing. It's only in its second season. Uh, they've got yourself, they've got Pierce and Car. Now you've got some teammates that are up near the front. How much is that helping you in terms of data setup? And when you are racing near the front, you've got some friends. Well, there aren't really any friends in racing, but you know, teammates are teammates. Uh, of course, we're going to race each other. We're going to race each other hard, but. Uh, you know, it, it's helpful. We get data from each other. We we both learn. We both become quicker. And you know, we're we're going to get a good result for uh, for Jax. Now, if you get uh, what, if you get a top ten finish in the final tomorrow, what do we have to say about your dad's shorts? There's got to be there's got to be some sort of you know Kevin from Thomas's Thomas's shorts. What 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 can we say if you get a top ten finish? What's your dad going to do about his shorts? I want to see a new colour next time. I'm probably going to buy him some new shorts using some of the money that I've saved up. Because to be honest, he, is, he has been made fun of way too much just because of his shorts. First it was played, now it's corduroy. Now it's corduroy. I think Hawaiian shorts. Top, there we go. Top, top 10 finish. I want to see Hawaiian shorts, OK? I'm going to get him an extra, extra, extra large size. <laughs> That's a bit rude. That's, that's, that's the budget. Okay, thank you. Well done, Daniel. There we go. <laughs> we, might, we, might, we might see you in different colours, Thomas. There we go. Ant just, Anthony yeah. Jordan, is, have you finished your donuts? I've finished my donut, you, and I just wanted to say thank you there to Pearson, but he's having a chat with his engineer. So we, 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 you were busy talking <laughs> to your mechanic there, so I didn't want to distract you, but thank you for the donut. <laughs> it's okay. It was quite nice. Have you had one? I have had one. How many have you had? Be honest. One. Only one? Yeah. Uh, you you, you You've got to watch the, you know, you've got weight limits to watch out for, haven't you, in race? Driver's diet, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. How's the day gone? Not too bad. I got a penalty in the first one, and now I finished fifth in the second. Yeah, so uh, uh, tough old morning for you, but uh, how are we looking for rep charges pre-finals tomorrow? How's it looking? Good. Yeah. Hopefully get, get some money in the front. It's another day tomorrow. It's a much longer day tomorrow as well. So, uh, yeah, primed and ready for it? Yeah. Dad's doing a good job. He's on the spanners. 
been all right. Yeah. Been all right. There you go. You're all, you're all right, Dad. You're all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Sure. He won't tighten something up now. You've said that. You know. Yeah. I know. There you go. We're falling off. We're falling off. Well, best of luck tomorrow, Pearson. Well. Well, um, Henry's outside. Yes, you I found, have found someone. I have found another racing oh, okay, driver. Okay, okay. I have found a racing driver that has come all the way uh, further than me from South Wales to North of England. Harry Hannum, uh, welcome back all the way from sunny Dubai. Welcome to the British summer. We, you've missed the British summer. We've been, it's been 40 degrees and now today you're here and it's cold and raining. How's your day been? Um, yeah, it's been all right. Uh, qualifying went not too well, but we did well in the first heat. Uh, second, he got just shafted out of the way. But uh, that's a nice uh, politically correct way of speaking. Isn't it? There we go. But uh, yeah, it went. Uh, it's gone well to defend the two heats. So hopefully, it can be the same tomorrow. Do you think you made it into the pre-final, or are you repercharging it? Uh, we should be in the pre-final. Yeah. Excellent. There we go. Well done. There we go. That's uh, Harry Hannum, Harry the Lion, Anthony Jordan. You're looking at a telephonic device. What What have you found? Uh, absolutely nothing, really. There uh, we go. Just, just looking at some uh, race results from today. Junior Rotax. Uh, yes. Obviously, they've had four heats today because there are so many of so them. So many of them. So well, many lots of them. and lots and lots. Yeah, of course. They've got their repercharge tomorrow as well. So we'll uh, be seeing who is going to be kind of starting where in that one. Well, a little, should um, we have a little in Sam Pollock racing? I mean, yeah, we, we can. There's, we a, can there's a young have man a playing. Oh, ah, there's okay. A, Paddock Show Dog, let's have a look. Now, here we go. And so you can go and find some racing drivers. There is a uh, young Gareth Bale in yellow, you know, but he's Welshman. Right, who, first things first, we've got the carts over there, but most importantly, who have we got here? Poppy. Poppy, and who belongs to Poppy? Um, Archie Clark. So this is Archie Clark's pooch. Hello, Poppy. How are you? Do you want to say hello to your fans? Rough. Is a good, and she tails wagging. So, ha, and so you're Archie Clark's sister, yes? No. No. Oh, okay, fair enough. Who are you? Who are you here supporting? Um, Freddie Housley. Freddie Housley. Okay. And how's Freddie done today? I think he's done quite good, actually. You think he's done quite good because you haven't really been watching the race. You've been playing with your friends, yeah? Yeah. And looking after Poppy. Yeah. Excellent. There we go. Right then. Paddock show pooch number one. Poppy and black lad. There we go. Good girl. Which is holding on to a ball nice and tight there we go right now on to some karting Anthony have we got some karting to cover I've not got any carters I've not found any unfortunately there's a ton no of mechanics carters. here but they're all turning their head as soon as I look at them they know they're car away they don't they just, don't want to be interviewed well, Anthony, no you just they don't want to be responsible you I do, you make I do them have talk. a driver down make here them talk. though look, I mean, here's um, I'm guessing it's mechanic. in the form of Blake you know, Tyson uh, Blake I'm going to uh, sorry, you're, sorry, you're, you're, you're chatting okay. away into oh, your microphone, Grace Henry. Gets away Who's with talking it? here? Who's doing the interview? Well, me or you? You were moaning about how oh, <laughs> the drivers want to speak to me. They don't want to I was, no, I was showing you how to bully a driver into speaking. Mechanics we'll speak to Blake speak to Go on, Blake. Then. Go on, then. Blake. Yeah. All right, lad, how's it going? You road taxed up here. Look at this. Yeah. Um, it's all right, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, it's all right? Yeah. You're a man of many words, aren't you? So you you rep in your uh, United Kingdom suit there. I'm guessing that was from the grand finals that you were repping this suit. And my ripped shoes. And your ripped shoes. There you go. Okay. Well, from I today. Mean, oh, how did that happen? I got driven over. Well, that's. Well, why did you let that happen? Oh, uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, mainly. I mean, in, in the first heat, there was a collision. Well, yes. Between Blake and another driver. Yes. Um, Mr. Tyshurst, uh, the damage was to the, Na the NASA panel, but not luckily to Blake. There was a fair bit of damage to the cart, and unfortunately, it did actually damage his, uh, his I, leg as well. I, I noticed him limping a little bit, but I mean, yeah, it, no sense, no feeling. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, his mum put ice on it uh, and repaired Blake. I repaired the cart. Um, we, we, so we went again, and we just had a really good, strong race. Uh, we started sixth, finished fifth. Racing strong at the front, which, but unfortunately, the non-finish at the first heat will mean we're somewhere near near the back of the A or even in the B. Which I, I was going to say that the second heat, though, I think it finished the top three finish. It was very, really, really strong result. Um, but Red Speed chassis, Sam Pollock Racing, who Sam mm -hmm. Pollock was around and he's hidden there. Let's be, let's speak to our pole set for the fastest drive. Now you can't Ted Bradbury, you can't put it on pole in a 57 strong junior road taxi and expect not to get interviewed in the paddock show. Come and, come, and, come and stand in the middle here now. Right, heat number one went off like a scalded cat, led by about 57 miles, the end of lap number one, then messed it up, finished sixth. Yeah. Right, uh, heat number two, uh, what happened there? Um, so we, it was a, <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good battle at the front, uh, out of my place uh, all the way through. And then Jez dummy around the outside. No, I weren't being silly to be honest. Like it's only a heat. Like 
uh, I was happy with where I was. And then I seen he got a penalty earlier. Um, but we've also been given a penalty for getting my position back on the out lap. But it's pre-final tomorrow, so make as many places up tomorrow and then see where we are in the final. No problems. Now, okay, we, we talked about this. There's you, there's Finn Leslie who's struggling a little bit, there's, there's Charlie Hart. You've all got race winning speed. You know, when are we going to get one of these wagons across the line first? Uh, hopefully for tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. There we go. There we go. We'll there we keep go. an eye on it. No keep problem. an eye on it, Ted. Thank Thanks you very much. Cheers. 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 There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, a, a, a man a... who is glad that the sun has tapped away uh, this <laughs> yes. weekend. Yes. Right. <laughs> Ultimate R. I, They've had a pretty good weekend I so far. Love, I love hot sunny weather, said no fierce in ginger person ever. Right. <laughs> right. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Strawberry Ultimate racing. R, yes, Ultimate R, very good. Sir. Gabe Fairbrother yeah. is on fire. Yeah. And uh, not literally. Not he's literally, but he's, he's having a good weekend. Right. Uh, yeah, so, Strawberry so racing. Ultimate R, really, really, really strong. Now, mm. the mm. big story today in senior Rotax, heat number one, was a race one collision between championship leader Callum Bradshaw and Sean Butcher whilst battling. Now, they both went out for their second heat. Let's have a little wander into the strawberry tent. There's Warwick, there's the, the newly crowned old plate. Oh, hello. I know. OK, <laughs> Warwick Brigham from Strawberry Racing. Uh, uh, first of all, Ethan Jeff Hall, what a, way, what, a, what a way to come back after the call, come back strong. Win the old plate, he's virtually the European champion as well. For a driver, and you know that that's really important you know that shows a real mental toughness doesn't it i think you had to think you had to sort of dig a bit deep obviously it hurt him doing that and then to win the o play and then go and win the european championship the following week i think that sort of helped him quite a lot it's helped his confidence a bit now here's the thing, here's the thing with drivers drivers that win the o plate and they win the gp plate some think no no i'm not running it because they think it's a target others relish running it where do you stand on that is that you've won it so you should race it Exactly. There we go. And if you're quick enough to win it, you're quick enough to get away from the people that are trying to get bin you. Yeah, I think it's, it's nice to see the number or an O play or GP. If you've gone, you're only going there to to try and win that race. So what's the point in winning it and not using it? And again, I mean, so we, we, I mean, we're looking at the straw racing awning. I mean, you've been, you guys have been in the championship for for, for, for so many years. Where is the British Championship now compared to years past in terms of strength and professionalism? I think the level at the minute is really high, like ridiculously high. I think if, if, there's a lot of really good kids competing. I think every teams are all really competitive. Everybody's more organised. I think I think it's really really high level now. Good, excellent. We'll catch up. Let's go. And, and, Anthony Jordan, have you found an racing driver again? I have, and okay. it is get your bunting out, ladies and gents, because happy birthday, Mr. Sam Longley. How oh. old are we? 15. 15 years of age. Look at that, and you're nearly as tall as me. I hate this so much, this is. Right, anyway, Sam, happy birthday. Thanks. Get any good, get anything good? Uh, not yet. I not yet? Not got my presents yet. Not got your presents yet. Why? Because, I don't know, they're at home. They're at home. Well, why aren't they brought to the race weekend? Where's the presents under the... Maybe later. Yeah. Or maybe Where, later, right, where, Where's okay. the cake? Where's the cake? The cake is over there. Ah. It is a fabulous chocolate oh, cake. Oh, oh. I've already oh, had a... I, I uh, think was, <laughs> there was almost some candles that going to be there. Oh. I've already had a donut this this paddock show. I can't uh, have a slice of cake uh, too. Now, but we did... Uh, I was commentating with Joe Bradley earlier and journalistic integrity. We need to go and speak to uh, uh, Lee Taylor, uh, Chief Mechanic. Um, who loves being interviewed. Are we going to sing happy birthday, though? Are we going to sing happy birthday? Are we going to sing, are we gonna embarrass gonna, the lad and sing happy birthday? I think we need birthday? to sing happy birthday, oh, don't we? Go. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, yeah. Ready? Ready? Here we, 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 go. we need to get everyone in. Right. We need to get everyone in. Come on. That's answering you. Come on, come on, come on. Like, oh, there we go. Oh, the... I, I, that, that it's just, it's just, it's just, is it just us? Oh. Oh. Two people who are, two people no. you hardly know seeing happy birthday to. <laughs> let's move. <laughs> there we go. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go over here. Let's, let's go. Happy birthday down here. Come on, Kimba, European champion, get in here, world champion. Kimba, you're, no, you're not, I know you're all right. It'd be even better, all right, when you come and have a sing song. We're trying here, Sam. <laughs> okay, We're doing our best. Right. We're rousing the crowd. There we go. Look at that, we've got cake too as right. well. Oh, is, is that. That at the ready? At the ready. We'll, this we'll, is, uh, we'll sit tight for the... Is, I mean... This is, this, is light, this is light TV at its absolute this finest. Is, this is. Keep, keep the race fuel away from that. Right, yeah. <laughs> OK. Are we ready? No, we're losing oh, it with candles. Right, what, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go on three anyway. Three, three two, two, one. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Sam. 
happy birthday to you. Hey. Get your cake, blow the candles out. Yeah, oh, you missed one. There we go. Top quality go. goodness. Right, I'll be back later for a slice of that. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, now, right, cool. Right. Moving swiftly on. Moving swiftly on. So we're going to run up here, in and out of here. Um, here's Guy Cunnington, the GP plate cut. Two weeks, two weeks to go. Try and defend that GP Ooh, plate. Oh, yes, but yeah, yeah. We were speaking to, um, to Joe Fitz, so the main point of contention today was, of course, a collision between Callum Bradshaw, championship leader in seniors, in the fir in first heat. Callum, firstly, how were you feeling? How was your wrist? No, everything's all right. Um, no, it's not ideal, is it? <laughs> no, no, I mean, again, it, 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 considering, I mean, it was obviously, I didn't see the accident you and Sean. I mean, I'm sure you have different opinions over, over what happened, but I mean, yeah, that's the first sort of, you know, bad result of the year, really, really. And you, I mean, there's like 40 of you in the seniors, so you've come back strong in the second race, though. Yes, obviously a little bit dis difficult to, um, overtake round here so it's sort of probably one of the worst tracks to be yeah. have a bad uh, qualifying heats but um you no know, the pace was wasn't too bad in the last one I was third so um we've got the, sp the pace to come forward but it's obviously so tight so um and that, and that is it. it is it is so so tight and competitive um one thing you're mechanically tailored so joe bradley uh, was commenting you know lee is a local lad here um he he's over there now he's hidden he's hiding look at that in the corner i, I mean as, as a human, in, as a human interest story, um, his, Joe was telling me that his dad used to drop him and his brother off in the morning, let him poop around, go to work, come back at lunchtime, feed him, and then let him go around the afternoon again. And I mean, look at the fine figure of a man. He's, oh, he's, he's I, I will. He, he, he's played you off. Look, he's not. I know. I, I will catch him. Yeah, definitely. You, you've got to. I think. I think it, 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 I will catch him. But anyway, I'm glad you're all right, and best luck tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. I'm so, enjoying this paddock show. Oh, dear me. I've got, I've got cake now. I, I, I prefer to <laughs> dress him as a chilli pepper, personally, <laughs> but there we go. I don't, I don't. Anyway. Uh, no, no, we, we, sorry, Lee, we're going out now. So thank say you. Say the strawberry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, lovely. Enjoy that. So, um... Well, well, we've not got long left. Probably got about ten minutes left or so in this. Okay. So, well, uh, well we, we've got uh, out on circuit at the moment. I'm just going to spend the last ten got, minutes. We've got the Micromax. Um, uh, we've got the Micromax drivers right. out on circuit at the moment. Obviously, big day for them. Yes. Yes. So a big weekend. Eight, eight drivers. I mean, I'm surprised that there aren't more entries because, you know, this is the biggest event in world karting. The, the Grand Prix. We'll go with the KR Sport. We're going to move round. Mm. Um, we've got the Mini Max drivers going out for some of their second. And he, the dulcet tones of, uh, of Joe Bradley. Uh, yeah. thing. So here's a look at the Mini Max. So this is Poppy again. <laughs> Paddock, Paddock Show Pooch. So this is uh, waiting to go out for the last heat of the day, which would be Mini Max. Uh, this is uh, Owen Neves' cart. And uh, we'll have a little squeeze here. Thomas Min Spearing's cart. Let's have a little look with. Do you know what? We don't get to do this often, but let's try and speak to a couple of drivers before they go out. Okay. Right. How, right? How are you? How are you feeling for this last race? Fun. Fun? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, Mr. Singerevich. Um, no. Uh, no. No. It's, it's, it's what? I have nothing to lose in this championship, so I'm just having fun. Exactly. It's, it's not been a great start, but I mean, okay. Let's talk about you know, obviously things go on in your homeland. You know, how much of a break is it to come karting and enjoy yourself and, and put the worries of the world to one side? It's all right because all of my family moved here, so I'm I'm quite all right with it. Okay, well, I'm just, hey, we're, we're, very, we're really pleased to have you here. We're glad to see you smiling. Good luck. Thank you. No problem at all. So there we go. That's Alexander Zingarevich. Uh, let's have a little move. There's Aris Mieskis. Again, what about you know Anglo-Lithuanian drivers? He's up there. Um, I'll squeeze through here. Look at that. My svelte figure squeezing through here. Um, the drivers have all disappeared up there. So these are just the mechanics now trying to get their carts onto the grid in time. So for those of you that are worried about this, so this is the holding area. The carts have all got to be in here within a certain time. They've then got to get their tyres and everything set up, and they've then got to get onto the grid. You hear the, the beeping. They've got to get onto the grid before the grid gate shuts. There is a timer, which I can't quite see at the moment, but of course, if you miss the grid gate, then you don't race. Simple as that. Noah Wolf. Yes, Noah, Phil Leslie, Noah. Uh, first heat today in Minimax, you absolutely romped home. Are you starting to finally get to grips with the cart as much as you were? You're quick at the start of the year, but now you're 
get into grip with the, with the extra speed of the car? Well, I just think that this track suits my driving, and it's a very... It's like the car suits the track, so it's very fast and there's some slow corners. And of course, Scott Marsh, Championship leader, had a bad qualifying session, so he starts. So one of your main rivals is already out the way, which means you can just go. I mean, we're going to keep walking through because we don't want to, we don't want to cost you a chance of the race. So, last race of the day, how are you feeling about making it two wins out of two? Uh, I feel I have a good chance. Well, good luck, good luck indeed. No, no problem at all. We'll work there, Finn, Finn Leslie. How uh, it's not gone? It's not gone great for you, Finn, has it? No, not really. But you've got one race now to, to get up there and, and show them what you're made of. Yeah, I'm gonna win. You're gonna win. Good lad. Good lad. Good luck. But uh, gonna win from what good position? 21st. 21st. Okay, well, let's see about that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, still, how many mechanics have tried to steal my cake? I've no idea. But this is a, probably a first. Cake on a dummy grid. Cake on a dummy grid. Just yes, before right. a heat. Uh, Let's have a look. Now, of course, so, so all the, I mean, this is the scene. So all the drivers, and they've got their grid positions, um, you know, which they'll settle down, and they then got the mechanics have got a certain amount of time to get off the grid. Um, and then there's just there's normally one one driver, one mechanic per cart until the thing. So we're having a look there. The, looks like the last couple of drivers are all in. Um, Owen Neve, now the Callum Hargrave driver development team, um, Owen was doing extremely well earlier on. I mean, yeah. That was a good first heat, Mr. Neve. He's doing all right. He's doing all right, considering his weight and his size in comparison. Yep. Unfortunately, we're having the same sort of scenario as Honda now, where he's just getting midway through the season and starting to be a problem. But he's had a bit of a growth spurt. He's had a bit of a growth spurt. He's four stroke five kg over. He's about a whole helmet height higher than everyone else on the cart, and it does make it a bit difficult for him. But good, good, good genes. Is that a good genes? Yeah, he can do it. He's just got to be perfect. OK, well, 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 we'll, we'll leave you uh, to be that. There's a, oh, there's a there Clayton go. Higgins. The paddock show. Stephen Lester. Yes, Lepper. yeah, oh. it is. Oh, yes. Oh, Clayton Higgins. George, carry on. Yes, Supply I have got so, Kate, uh, uh, I can't give you, Kate. You've got a helmet on. But, yes, now, first time you're racing in the UK, I believe. Uh, I've been doing a club race last week. Right, so club race last week. That was your first weekend. Yes, yes right, OK. So you're originally from Australia, yeah. racing yeah. in the UAE. Yeah, so. I live in the UAE, but I'm... Australian and I decided to come over here to race here to get beaten up for the international trophy in France. Well, it's no better way than learning how to race properly than to race in Britain because we breed some of the best drivers and you're about to find out how good they are out there on circuit, but I'm sure you're still as good as well. But yeah, what's the predictions for this weekend? Are we feeling confident here at Warden? Yeah, yeah, I've been getting some experience here and I think I'm ready to race. Yeah, definitely so. Well, we'll wish you best of luck out there. And when you come back, if I've still got this plate of cake, would you like a slice? Sure. Excellent. There we go. Caden, you, there's a slice of cake waiting for you when you get back. Best of luck. Enjoy your session. Marvellous. Excellent. Should we go and try and speak to some of our Micromax drivers who have just uh, come well, in? We can well, indeed. Yeah, I don't think we've got long. What's the time? We, 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 uh, uh, too many things in my hands. Uh, we've got about two minutes. Two minutes. Two okay, minutes. Well, so, Henry, I'll let you run because I can't I'm, run I'm, with I'm, cake. I'm, run. Look at this. Uh, we're cameraman going backwards. Um, I'll, go, I'll turn around. Hang on a second, if I turn around, here's the, the, the trolleys, this is the mechanics domain, or the trolleys, a bit of a traffic jam there, and we will try and speak to some of the Micromax drivers as they come in, because of course that's the biggest prize of the weekend. They come in, let's have a little look. Well, I tell you what, Morgan Porter is mechanicing for Olivia Reynolds, yes? That is indeed, yeah, I sure am. And how did we do in that last race? Uh, not as strong as our first heat. We've got a few few improvements to make, but no, she's uh, she's going around well. Well, I tell you what, let's speak to the youngest young lady in the paddock. First time here in the British Championship. Olivia, it's okay. Right, first things first, how are you finding Micromax? Um, I think Micromax is really fun. Like, it's um, a good car and it's pretty fast. Now, you've got three chances this year to win a ticket to the Grand Finals. What do you know about the Rotax Grand Finals? Um, I know that it has loads of fast people there and it's like one of the main events in the world. It is, 360 drivers, all in one big tent. I think there are 36 or 72 uh, Micromax drivers, you know, I think there's going to be three from the UK. Do you think you're going to be one of them? Um, hopefully if it all works out and I get like more consistent, hopefully. 
Okay, well, you listen to that man there. See that man there? He might look stupid, but he actually really knows what he's doing. Yeah, um, sometimes he does. <laughs> there we go. Now, oh, 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 Morgan, I was going to say, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, you want to make sure that those wheels are tightened tomorrow morning after yeah, saying it. I will. I will double check. Good luck. Thank you. No problem at all. Excellent. Excellent. Has we, we've run out of time. Have we run out of time? We've run out of time. Oh, there we go. Well, cake's the game, I think. Lovely. Excellent. One of those slices is for you. Pun? No, no, no. Get your hands away. Um, right. Yeah, so we're live. Yes, live at 9.50 tomorrow morning. 9.50. Several rapid charges, all the pre-finals, all the finals. finals. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's the Paddock Show. <laughs> See you in the morning.